offense to Miss Minaj, and um, I'm not here to get any smoke from the barbs because they terrify me. But it does seem a bit crazy to be commenting on anybody else's familial situation whenever both your brother and your husband have a rap sheet for sexual like girl your husband pleaded guilty in 1995 to sexually assaulting a girl whenever he was 16 years old and like it wasn't even one of those situations where it was like a dubious consent type of thing he violently assaulted this girl at knife point according to the court filings and then, according to additional court filings, you and your husband attempted to bribe this girl into recanting her statements after he had already pleaded guilty. And then your brother is serving 25 to life for repeatedly sexually assaulting his 11-year-old stepdaughter. And you want to talk about mothers? Girl, I understand the whole, like, standing by your man thing. I, I get it, in a way. But, like, me personally, I would just keep my fucking mouth shut. Because, like, I'm willing to bet, first of all, that, like, a majority of people that listen to that tape did not know what Megan's Law was to begin with and certainly did not know that she was referencing you. Because, honestly, we still don't know that she was 100% referencing you. We don't know that for 100% sure. And you just ran with it. A hit dog will holler. But also, now that we're talking about Megan's Law, didn't your husband have to go on house arrest because he failed to register as a sex offender whenever y'all moved states? Because last I checked, that was also a thing that happened. Girl, you are out here literally losing your fucking mind on your Instagram lives with roaches in the background of your shit. Talking about some Bigfoot stand on your good foot. Girl, you could at least come up with a killer line to respond with. You are the self-proclaimed queen of rap and you rhymed foot with foot? Come on now.